All right, I think we are ready to go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another stream. I hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, I'm doing particularly well. Um, it's been a kind of a slow day. Uh, not a whole lot is happening. Um, there's construction. They're doing construction next door, and um, you can hear that noise like constantly. It's a little annoying, but um, uh, but yeah, that's the thing that's happening. But yes, hi, hello, welcome. Um, today, as you can see, we're venturing uh, back to the PlayStation. Uh, like I said in the last stream, I teased what I was going to be playing next uh, with my shirt. And as you can see by the title and thumbnail, we are entering the world of Metal Gear Solid. Now this is one of my favorite games um, of all time. I do plan on getting a Metal Gear Solid tattoo at some point. Um, I this This game was... It was definitely very interesting for me because I first discovered it by watching Jack Jacksepticeye's playthrough of it, um, or part of his playthrough, I should say. He never finished it, but um, and he had done a couple of episodes already. I believe he did four total, and I think he had just uploaded the second one when I got into it. Um, I had known of the title, I just didn't know what was tied to it um i was like eh, sure i'll check it out might as well you know and i i don't know what it was but i fucking loved it it was the like the graphics is good just the fact of like how funny it is and i actually i actually ended up getting a copy of it on my um old ass pc that i had at the time uh the one that i used to make my games at first um and i was surprised that it worked it was one of the only games that worked on that thing and it like it ran it seamlessly too which i was very impressed by and i played that game i played that game almost to completion i just got stuck on the final boss um uh, with metal gear rex as um as you know and but like i played through every other minute of that game and i loved all of it it was great i have the soundtrack downloaded like i know the themes i i have a big ass poster of uh psycho ninja out in the um out in my uh dining room um it's just great everything about this game is great um and then i ended up i haven't played well I, i've played a little bit of metal gear solid 2 uh, not of three, but I've seen like, I've seen all the the first three games, the the trilogy as I like to call it. Um, they're all great, and what um, what was very great to hear was when uh, PlayStation and Konami uh, partnered up to bring us the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection. And I was so excited when I saw that this existed because I wanted to, because I had seen like, uh, there's a game, I believe it's on the PS3 that has these two games, but not this one. And like every other like remastering of the older games I can see does not have the original. And I was so bummed out cause I wanted to play it like on my console. Um, so I, I, it just, it bummed me out. And then they came out with this and I was like, yes, I didn't even have a second thought after I saw it online. I was like, get this in my life right now. I bought it that day. <laughs> so, uh, I've been waiting. I've been sitting on this for a long time. I believe this came out, uh, a couple days after, uh, Spider-Man two did. So, I've been sitting on this since October, and I have been very excited to finally play it. I do intend on streaming all three of these games, and it also came with the first two games, uh, Metal Gear and Metal Gear uh, Solid Snake as well. 
the like the pixel art games which i'm very excited to check those out as well there there just won't be today and i contemplated playing those first because they technically came before metal gear solid but i decided oh sorry i bumped my desk i'm scratching my foot um i decided against it because um i i just love metal gear solid so much um and i know i can make a series out of it um I do plan on playing the entire thing. I don't know if I can complete it. Because, uh, like I said, I got stuck on the Rex boss. Um, I'm also interested to see how the controls play out. Because I played with a mouse and keyboard. Well, not really a mouse and keyboard. I played with just key the keyboard on my computer. So, uh, we'll see. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have I had my capture card unmuted this entire time? When did I unmute that? I did not mean to unmute that, but okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open the game. And we're just going to hop right in. Now I can unmute it. Konami. The game is uh, outdated. However uh sitting far away from the screen uh terms of use this is Metal Gear solid what terms of use are there i didn't even get to read all of that but okay oh this uses the old controls that's right because oh my god don't care because uh circle was originally supposed to be confirm um and not x i forget why they changed it this isn't the menu uh Oh, I can play the main game or the the VR missions. I did do a bunch of those as well because it came with the the one that I had on my PC came with them. Special missions and integral, huh? That I don't I don't know about this one, but I'm gonna play this. Start game. I'm assuming we get the the old style menu. Oh my god, the the pixelation. <laughs> Let's the the cutscenes are very long. I don't know if I want to watch. The entirety of the first cutscene, but uh, might as well. It's part of the story, I guess. This plays before you get to the menu, by the way, just so you guys know. But the original Metal Gear Solid disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. David Hayter. Sure to rescue DARPA chief Donald Anderson. Hell yeah. And president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. Metal Gear Rex. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. 
launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. This game had incredible, like... Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Mantis, he's really cool. And deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, Master of Disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot. Ocelot's really cool as well. And a formidable gunfighter. And Ocelot. Charge of them. Foxhound squad leader. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, nope. this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Menu? There it is. That was a long cutscene. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, oh, hell yeah! Oh, they updated the controls. It's the it's this button. Interesting that they put the old graphics back in there. Okay, so normally I don't play these sorts of games. This is the only exception to that. I don't normally do like the, the special ops, like government, like, you know, Call of Duty sort of stuff, special missions, gunfighting, that sort of thing. I don't normally play those kind of games, but this is the only exception because it has a different twist on it. And I like that. I don't know what the twist is. I can't really explain it, but it's there. <laughs> um, no, no, wait, no. Don't go back to that cutscene. Anyway, um, but yes, all of the characters in this are really cool. Mantis is great. Um, David Hayter, Snake, awesome. Um, f f what the fuck was I gonna say? This game is known for its cutscenes, though. Um, uh, also, I played it on normal on my PC. I'm gonna play it easy. For this because I also had a lot of difficulty um, playing in. Oh, I can use the arrows. Um, I can. I may or may not change it later, but I'm going to keep it as easy for now just because um, I died a lot when I played it on my PC. And I have probably improved uh, skill wise since then, but I don't really want to take any chances. So let's dive in, shall we? David Hader. Hell yeah. I also have pretzels. I've got the pretzel fish. Oh, that's what I was going to say. This game came out in 1998. It's old. But is it? it is impressive for 98. I will say that. Snake, liquid snake. Bother some flies. This guy's weird. He's interesting. Oh, codec. Loud and clear. What's the situation?
situation, Snake. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact Oh, they changed the text, but not the voice acting. When you hear that noise, press the select button. It's the, the, the touchpad. It directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. So, okay. It's interesting that they literally went back and changed the um, controls. Okay. Okay, let me just get used to the controls here. Do that. Uh, you. Okay. Yes. Snake, you have to crawl to get through there. I'm aware. Just crouch down by pressing the crawl button, and then use the directional button to crawl in the direction. I know. Be careful though. Crawling is slow. Blah 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 blah. Hi Naomi. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Hop in here real quick. Get this ration. I don't think there's anything else in there. Okay. Oh, it's weird that the camera is not the the right stick. Oh fuck. Uh oh shit. I'm not here, what are you talking about? Go back to your business. Oh. I'm gonna just move over here. Thank God these guys don't follow any sort of video, like actual, uh, real logic. Cause there was a guy standing right there and he could easily see me just standing here. And so could that dude. But, um, okay. Oh, saved by the elevator. I'm not here. What are you talking about? Fucking hell. Oh. This is stressful. I have nothing. Okay. Ah, shit. Can I, uh, nope. Ah, damn it. I forgot that he came that far. At least we get to hear the sound. Snake! <laughs> oh, god damn it. I just gotta, I gotta get the feel back. I don't normally take that route, but I, um... Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm not in your cone of sight, so you can't see me. Hello. 
Sorry, I'm watching the... Oh shit, I didn't realize you were there. Fuck. Oh, don't mind me. Okay, there's a guy in the elevator, but where where is this guy over here gonna go? Okay. What was that noise? Oh my god. I'm just gonna get on the. Oh, no! Ration. Oh shit, wait. Ah, uh, I didn't get the other ration. Fuck. That might be handy. Damn it. That would mean I'd have to go all the way back to the other end. Or I could just die and do it again. Ah, uh, fuck it. Whatever. What was that, noise? What's that? that works. What's up, buddy? I'm just gonna... do is come over here and then do that okay now I gotta get way back over there again Third guard really makes things difficult. Fuck it, I'm getting on the elevator. Okay. Oh. I'm already stressed and I'm not even part way through the game. This is the intro. Take that shit off, snake. Hell yeah. All the intro credits. Fuck yeah. So, wait. What was also interesting about my playthrough on my PC is that I had, it was using like an emulator, sort of. So... 
It had its own like custom menu. So am I gonna have to use um uh who who's her face? Um fuck. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Oh Don't shush. Worry. It's been a while, but it's all coming back to me. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Naomi. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Snake and a hind D or liquid gunship doing here. I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. I get to fight that later. That's a fun fight. It's also a pain in the ass. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. Mei Ling. She's assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. And my she safe state. your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Damn. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come mm -hmm. on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The radar up in the... Uh, the the upper left, you, upper right. The red it's dots are your enemies, thing and the blue there. cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather. But if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. I'd you never understood what that meant. An area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar. So contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also yeah. in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. 14096. And I wonder if your binoculars you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Did they... here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make uh... it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry. They do have some sexual references in this game. I bumped my that? monitor. In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Six 
cigarettes. How are those going to help you? You never know. I never used them. I hear there's a use for them, but I never used them. Also, this is not me. The camera work in this game is impressive. There's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five, five, six ers and pineapples. I don't know what that means. 1998 uh, gun lang, slang, I guess. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. That's the one I'm going to use. It's up there. Should be right there. I can't see it from here. Right about there. Right. That guy just went past it. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay. Thank you. Uh. Let's see, 96. What's up, Snake? Let's us let us save. There's an actually a save thing there, but it works. Snake, remember what the goal said. The great oh, yeah. are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded. Blah 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 blah. I get it. Okay. She gives me quotes. Okay. Okay. I, I gotta get used to the fact that, um, I wonder if I can change that. Cause that's, that is really going to throw me off. Um... Uh, I didn't. Okay. Um. Okay. So I, I see how it works now. I also got to get into that room. Ooh, there's a ration up there. At least I think it's a ration. Let's go see. Yeah, I'm full up on those. Chaff grenades. These are pretty handy. Whose footprints are these? Hmm. I forgot that they could do that. So I believe it's that button. Nope. Which which button is it? That one. Okay. A surveillance camera? It's jammed. Let me just get in here and get this thing. Okay. Okay, so I gotta get into this trailer thing. Is it just me or did the sentries disappear? Oh no, there's one of them. Aren't there supposed to be some down here? Oh, there is. I'm not here, what are you talking about? Is there just one? Okie dokie. At least I have a weapon now.
that. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's just like solid snake. Yes. Or no, wait. I mean, no. <laughs> uh, yes, Colonel. No, wait. You're not my Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just I I can't resist. Okay. Let's go up here. No, get onto the. There we go. The trick with the camera is to go literally right underneath them. break for it let me get in this vent first constant changing controls what up snake this is McDonald Miller it's been a long time Master, oh this guy what are you doing I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. The fuck? Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me. If you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here, my frequency is 141.80. I won't be using that, but thank you. I'll say this. His voice is familiar, isn't it? That's all I'll say. forgot that um back then with the controls it's either there's no in between so either all in or not in at all can look down i moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement what about the vent shaft cleaning they just opened the vent covers about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Woman in the cell. Now. Woman in the cell? He repeats everything. Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. It's not Snake. He's using stealth, too. Stealth? Stealth. There's an intruder besides me. Anyway, I want you to mm. increase the security detail on the chief. Good to know. I I forgot that this vent shaft doesn't go straight to the cells. They have to go through a different shaft first. Good. Yeah. Hello? Oh, there's a camera. Let's see. Uh, I believe there's either a ration or, uh, or something. Let's see. Can I help you? Press the action button to drop down. <laughs> Thanks, Colonel. I'm not gonna do that yet. I I'm already full on rations, but I'm full. But I just wanted to check because who knows? So I believe it's this button. <laughs> yes. Oh. 
Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Okie dokie. There's there's an item up here. Hell yeah, chaff grenades. Uh, so I believe I've got to go down over, right over there. I believe at the end of my cone shape is the elevator. So. Not get stuck on the wall, thank you very much. Oh, what's over there? What items are you protecting? Thermal goggles. Ooh. I'm holding steady in this corner, sir. Gentle with the footsteps. I don't think they can hear me unless I'm on the same level as they are. So yeah, I gotta just go down those stairs and then the elevator's right there. Didn't really use the camera that much, like this camera angle. Um, last time I played this, wait till the camera pans around. You can see the camera and the cone moving in real time. I think that's awesome. I'm not here. What are you talking about? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Wrong button. Get up. Ah. <sighs> I panicked. Where's it gonna put me? Okay, right there. Use the elevator to change floor. Okay, okay, gotcha. I really gotta get used to the controls. Also pretty annoying how easily he gets stuck to the walls. But hey, whatever. Uh, I will save though. You found out where the DARPA chief is with his nanomachine transmit. Try to find him. I shall find him. Come on, Snake, you can Thanks, Mei Ling. Your support means so much to me. I really appreciate it. Straight down the stairs. Uh oh. Not here. I 
don't remember if there's any more items around. Ooh, hello. Controller battery is low. Oh, I think that's where the lower shaft comes out. Gotcha. Guard over there. Okay, hold on. Let me grab my charger real quick. Thought this was charged, but I guess not. It's totally fine. Okay. And then we just take this, run it over here. There we go. Cool. Have right, a quick snack while I'm paused. Stream's going good. Good to know. Hmm. Um. Oh my god. First floor basement. I know I'm going to the second floor basement, but, um... There's items and things. Oh, I thought you didn't have any guards. Gosh, ding dang. See where this guy goes. Uh, I got some ammo at least. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okie dokie. Level six. So I gotta come over here and get a call before I get in the ladder. Or down a ladder. Just press the action button by the ladder. Just imagine you're in reality and you're just like, press the action button. What action button? The fuck? Okay, up we go. We back in the vents, boys. Ugh, cut it, damn cold. I hate Alaska. Oh, Boy, this guy. That woman is built all right. The guy with all the stomach problems. I forget what his name is. I think it's like Steve. 
maybe. There's more down there. I guess I'm full on bullets. Fine by me, I guess. Moving through the vents. Going kind of slow. Around the corner and... Oh, what's this? Is that a woman? Not Mmm. Snake, the DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. I know. That's what I've been doing. Uh... I forget her name. I don't know why I'm forgetting her name. It starts with an M. I think it's like Mer, Mer or something. I don't know. The DARPA chief. one way to say it it's true you don't look like one of them and that George case, bird hurry up and get me out of here slow down don't worry first I want some information about the terrorists the terrorists Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke what are you talking about the terrorists are threatening the White House they say if they don't accede to their demands they'll launch a nuclear weapon is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Oh, right. I forgot about this. We're conducting Grab your popcorn, everybody. This is a long one. Rex is really cool. We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. Yeah, that's a really good idea. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. Probably already finished on the war and the plan with Rex. <laughs> Piss off. But I thought that all nuclear warheads hey. were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. 
Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't mm. resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. He's really cool. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. The three Watch cards. Card keys. They were designed by Armstead. The system developers as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. The card keys are a pain in the ass. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay. I love, um... Fuck, what's her name? You know where they might be keeping Baker. Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrance. Meryl, that's what her name is. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are... Meryl. I knew it started with like it sounded like mayor. I've Here, I've take this. <laughs> it's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pad card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It <laughs> transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. Love all this stuff that's going right over my head. The data stored in the car. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? <laughs> hey, what happened? Meryl. Well, he did. something out there Naomi the chief what happened I I don't know it looked like a heart attack but a heart attack no colonel are you hiding something from me absolutely not snake you've got to understand this op is security level red you need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file you want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just uh, here as a support. The politics. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. I think my cats are scratching at the door. Oh, look at the radar. Meryl took the other guy out. Uh, thanks. So you 
killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Their hands are shaking. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. Time for an ambush. You car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. What? What? What's the button? Thanks, Merle. Big Breach. Thank you. Oh my god, the aiming. That is something I found kind of annoying. Okay. Oh, I didn't know about that. Uh, that was all of them. Bye. Oh, her butt. Who are you? You fool. You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Cutscene. Why are you blowing bullets like that? Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. Just like that. What's up, Mantis? Machines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Yeah. Mantis is really cool. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot. Wait, wait, let me get farther away. Poor Steve. Okay. I got me some bullets. I don't know if I could have gone in there before, but...
second floor basement. Let's go. And be careful of the trap doors. See, that's level five. Grenades. Always good. Let's see. Didn't restock that. All the guards are gone. Interesting. C4. Good, 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 good. That was a trap door. Mm. And four of them, I guess I could use it. That's mighty handy. Okay. I'll uh, pop over here. And then punch. Uh, trap doors. Okay. So I I know I'm supposed to call the the colonel about the um what I'm supposed to do, but I already know what I'm supposed to do. Which is that? In I go. Oh, that's right. It's jammed over here. Whatever, whatever. Let's blow this gasket. Is the chief. But I need to take ration. And then I'm going to want the succumb. Are you scratching at the door, Gillian? Oh, he's scratching at the door, wanting me to let him in. All right, I gotta get the <clears throat> the feeling of this game back. First boss. Am I 
too late. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. That's I'm here stupid. to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. Hello. Ocelot. Revolver Ocelot. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Oh, he's now cool. We'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me a revolver. Because he has a revolver. Draw. It's time Draw. to fight. Man, this guy's annoying. I love to reload. Ba -ba 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 -da -da. Okay. All right. Alive. Let's go. You better hurry up. The old man's not gonna last. Don't you D want to What? Oh. I guess easy mode doesn't make a difference, does it? Uh. Okay. Uses the power of ricochet. I love to reload during a battle. Alive. Let's go. Where are you going? Oh shit, he's right there. Hi. You better hurry up. The old man's not gonna last too long. Oh my god. Don't you want to settle this? Yeah. You know, that sultry smell. 
Aha, bitch. Oh, come on. There was a point where I would understand, like... Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Man, has it been that long since I've played this game? Jesus Christ. Okay. Hmm. I could go back. Get the uh, rations. And then I'm going to save for right here. Snake, you can't use your radar in that. Yes, yes, I'm aware. Thanks, Mei Ling. I appreciate you. Yeah, this is the third time I've had to do this. Oh, oops. Sorry. There we go.
Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? There we go. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Ninja. We'll meet again. Who are you? Ninja. I like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton. Oh, hey, the silencer was on that on the gun before. Who the hell? I didn't have the silencer. I got that later on. The fuck? Can you talk? Who are you? Uh, this is another long cutscene. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> Ooh. He looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief Cyborg okay? Ninja. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up. Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't yep. hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not going to let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Meryl. A male soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by codec. She has a codec print. It's tied up here, that is. Codec. It's not yes, on the case, though, so I'm going to have to... If she still oh. has it, you Unless it's in here. Her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. Oh, I know it's not on the back. Tell me, if this doesn't I gotta look it up. Is there some other way to prevent the Oop. missile launch. Ma bad. 
Well, it's not really my bad. That's more of uh, it's Sony's bad, I guess. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop I believe Gear from it's him, actually. He can't come up with anything. You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere oh, in the Emmerich. nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I Otacon! Why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, uh, the boys are scratching. The Hold on. nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Here, I'll let him talk. Hold on. Spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, controller have fell. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high. As far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. I accidentally so skipped this cutscene. So they try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Well, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. Metal Gear. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a black lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. I wonder how much of this is true. Because I don't know. I don't know any of this shit. <laughs> formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. I guess yes, that's the crap. controller it's falling over like tipped you. the Here, PS5. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. Stop. Stop hey, scratching boss. my chair. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you Thank walk? you. No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh, you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Cyborg Ninja. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they have just... This 
using you for... <sighs> And he did. That's two for two, folks. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. That's, uh... Get in contact with her. Snake, there's that, a lot of electrical that. interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Lots of answers. Nice. I got some bullets. I don't remember. Yeah, it's level six. Oh, but there's a ration. Get out of there for a bit. I'm not here. You don't hear the door opening and closing. You fools. Where's this guy going? going over that way. I believe that door is level three. There's nothing up there. Uh, ba -ba So from here I go That was close. Head back up here. I believe uh, the garage door somewhere should be open. Oh, this one.
cool. That's, if that's level five, what the fuck? Okay. Uh. Let's see. The DARPA chief and president. Uh. So, or. Final gear chief engineer. I think it's uh one forty one dot one five. One forty one five? Who are you? Aha I really impressed with where you remembered it. Out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Merrill, right? No, it's not him. And just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? Well, yeah. You don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? The That's what Solid. Some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But snake. I knew How? It's your eyes. My eyes. They're, they're rookies' eyes. 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 And they're rookies' eyes, right? No, they're beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You try to sweep me off my feet. Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Do you oh, think I love can bloom on a battlefield? <laughs> Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him. You're not brothers, are you? Uh. I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Oh. Why don't you ask him? But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the next generation Typical. special forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this Oy. was the final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. These cutscenes are so Sounds long. Kind of <laughs> so what do you think the terrorists want? What do they want? I'm sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, it was her boobs. Baker, huh? <laughs> How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I, don't I know, know the answer to that. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? Is he Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I was I just down there. Forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's but... done anyway. 
Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? He's a one-man army. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Oh, so well, we gotta... I've gotta go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause mm -hmm. for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good mm -hmm. luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. Ugh. I never had any problems in training. But when right. I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' <laughs> bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets huh? and shooting at living, breathing people are different. No, I knew you were Ever there. Ever since oh, I was a little true. girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one this day has been going I on could for finally see <laughs> some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Mm, we'll too many sex references. Gotcha. But listen, what? I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Okay. 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 After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Okay, so I gotta find the doctor. But he's on the second floor basement? Or the first? There's a cargo door on the first floor. Where? Is said cargo door. That's what I would like to know. I have no idea. Hello? This is Star Like Snake. Oh, I got my cardboard box. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Hi, Snake. I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where well, I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? It means your ass. <laughs> Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait. You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. Mm. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. Yeah. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. There we go. I figured that was the right way. Okay, I just gotta get down there. Man, I was like, I was right there. Doop. 
far now. Wait for this guy to get out of here. Hi, buddy. Hi, friend. See ya. What, Meryl? Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. I know. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. I have Touch thermal goggles. And the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. I have thermal goggles. Not that. It's these. Ugh, depth perception is fun. This is the first appearance of Vulcan Raven. Um, well, I'm gonna do this. Man, that's sensitive. What can I do for you, Snake? You can save me. Okay, can't. Snake, like Shakespeare said, knots had all spent. Well, our desire is God without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That I goes know. for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Okay. So... Uh, well, I've been playing for long enough. So you know what I'm going to do? I am going to end it there. I'm also going to unplug this. Okay. That will be it for this episode. Take this out real quick. And then do this. And that. All right. That has been it for today's episode of Metal Gear Solid. I hope everybody enjoyed today's stream. Uh, I am definitely feeling the nostalgia coming back from this one. Um, uh, that Ocelot battle was kind of hard, and I'm imagining the next ones are going to be hard as well, but um, I'll, I'll get my skill back. Um, I, I, over time, I got really good at this game. I just got to let it all come back, you know. Uh, sort of like uh, when I played Spider-Man. I got to let, I got to let the, the Venom flow again. Um, but, It'll be a little while until that happens, um, and that's fine. But uh, that is going to be it from me. If you like today's episode and you want to see more streams from me, uh, make sure you go down below and subscribe. I have over a year's worth of content for you to check out uh, with a bunch of different games for you to see. Um, so if you think that might tickle your fancy, feel free to subscribe and check it out. 
Also, while you're down below, there's a Steam link to a game that I made. There is no sleep. Sleep. Eh, can't pronounce my own game. Um, there is no sleep. Uh, it's a pretty fun one. Uh, it's only one dollar on Steam, Itch.io, and Game Jolt. Um, I recognize. I recommend. God, I can't talk today. I recommend that you all check it out. Uh, it's a fun time, and I think it'll be worth your while. So if you want to check that out, it's right down in the description below. Also down below is a Twitch link to a Twitch channel. Uh, me and my brother's podcast, Agents of Chaos. Uh, we just did an episode this past weekend. Uh, me and him played Unrailed. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so if you want to check that out, the live episodes will be broadcasted on Twitch and then re-uploaded right here for you to check out. Um, the playlist is on my channel somewhere. Uh, I don't believe I have a link below. Um, I believe it's just a Twitch link. So uh, go ahead, follow the Twitch channel. You get all the live episodes there. And then if you're subscribed to me, uh, if you happen to miss the Twitch stream, you'll get to listen to the episode because it's re re-uploaded right here. Uh, so I highly recommend you check that out. And then finally down below is my Patreon. Uh, it's a platform where I upload videos every month of me working on whatever project I'm working on uh, for about a half hour, 45 minutes, a full behind the scenes look at what I'm doing and um, full spoilers and everything. You get to see all of it. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, the link is down below. It's only $1 a month to join, and I highly recommend that you do because it is a fun time, and you get to see what it's like. Um, you get to see what my end of working on my projects is like. Um, you got to get to see how my brain works. So I uh, highly recommend you check that out. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's going to be it for me. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great day, great weekend, great hour, great whatever. Hi, Willem. Don't chew on that. I said don't chew on that. Get out of here. Chew. Sheesh. Chewing on my webcam cable. Um, <laughs> I hope everybody's having a great day, great week, great hour, great weekend, whatever, whenever you're up to. I hope you're doing well. But yes, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.